The Centers for Disease Control has just issued new guidance related to masking, and now most people throughout the country will be able to take them off. CBS 3 health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now to explain these new guidelines. Good news, Steph. It is good news, Jessica. The CDC has developed new equations for evaluating risk and will now use a three-tiered color-coded system. Looking ahead to the next normal, the Biden administration is loosening mask wearing guidelines for most Americans. We're in a stronger place today as a nation with more tools to protect ourselves and our communities from COVID-19. The CDC says it's switching to a new metric to determine when face masks are recommended in indoor public settings, depending on COVID-19 case counts, hospitalizations, and hospital capacity. The most recent guidelines recommending masks for roughly 95% of the country with the new policy, it's now closer to 30 percent. Masks are now advised for communities in red with a high burden on health care systems. I think it just kind of depends on the place and the amount of people um, and, you know, how safe I feel in that environment. The new guidance marks a shift from focusing on daily infections and community transmission to looking at the overall situation, now with more of an emphasis on hospitalizations and hospital capacity. Rolling back the mask mandate before we hit the, the metrics, puts us at risk of going back. That was the health commissioner on February 16th. The department had no reaction to the new CDC guidance, saying the response levels are reviewed every Monday. Now, Philadelphia remains the only location in our region that still has an indoor mask mandate for public locations. They have been eliminated in all three states. Jessica? All right, Stephanie, thank you.